right from the start. Had time. I think she realizes she knows she's got to pull the trigger a little bit sooner against Mohova. She's definitely come out very confident in these first couple games. Oh, that's a great shot. Almost seemed like she could have had a play on it, and she pulled her racket back at the last second, thinking that one might have drifted wide, but just nice rotation on that forehand to have that ball dip down into the court. Another stunning forehand, this one up the line. Hails from Slovakia. And Mohova loves that running forehand. We already saw in the first. Oh, it's beautifully done, isn't it? It's never easy on that shorter ball. Mohova using the slice to approach. It is a break, an early start for Karolina Mukova. She leads 2-1. To continue to take advantage of the second serve, just constantly being aggressive. She caught Karolina Mukova's practice partner out on the grounds. He just finished and asked him what she was working on in practice. He said she was hitting a to go into the Wang Xinyu backhand with that second serve. Fantastic to see Rukova taking advantage of the slower serve. Food for thought for Wang Xinyu, that's for sure. the little cat and mouse game between these two. <laughs> Showing great hands. I felt Wong did a great job of handling this short ball as well. Nice touch cross court, and I think it caught Mukova by surprise for a moment, but she's so quick to get up to that ball and almost held that, waited for Wong to make a move down the line. particular was all about court position from Mukova. Never got too far behind the baseline and took that ball on the rise. That's well, brilliantly done. Not an easy bounce smash. Ultra talented check. And she could do it from the baseline as well. Trouble. Comes through it unscathed. 4 2. Good 
job not losing focus in this. She could have easily felt like she had the point one, but got ready immediately. Wong, as we know, playing doubles as well with Shea Su Wei. Third straight game that Karolina Mukova has had break points and for the third straight game. Well, that's an statement of intent. There's the backhand we've been talking about. Smart change up on the serve. Took a little pace off, made sure she got that first serve in. Again, it's easy pickings for That's Karolina it, Mukova. Good serve on the <laughs> point down. And she'll get another a cracking backhand pass up the line. And after this forehand, knew she didn't get enough on it and immediately covered the open court. I think she likes that target, especially on the backhand side. She's not going to miss one that much. Got so balanced. It was a similar serve, wasn't it? Yes. On this break point, as it was the last, this time Wong was ready for it. But... Oh. Okay. Fabulous wow. return from Wong Xinyu. Backs it up as well. Wong just hoping that that one was going to go out. A bit unlucky that for Wong that Mukova just held her position on that cross with that swing volley. She had to play on that one too. I think you got to take that risk and just hit it. Triple break point one, I should say, getting ahead of myself. Yeah, well, that's disappointing for over getting the towel and wiping that off their face. Eyesight seems perfect though. <laughs> Didn't rush this one at all. Waited and saw Wong go for that defensive slice and that's when she took the opportunity to sneak forward. the forehand in a much more effective way, higher 
heavier, and that sets her up really well for that backhand to be able to attack. Game one. Three games, three breaks. Impressive. <laughs> He's good at geometry. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Let's see if she can change that. And that taking all the sting out of the ball. Fifteen and from Mukova to hit and come forward. Just had to keep. And it is a break. Number six for Karolina Mukova. Exceptional. Percentage now below 50. Okay. Wow. And it's a double fault. Well, I'll say it quietly, but we... Does well on the break point chance against. And something doesn't feel right. If you can just narrow and clear your mind, just focus on the feet, that can be so valuable. Mukova forehand, which is can be so dangerous, and that's why she's con consistently trying to use that shot. Relatively cheap, aren't you? <laughs> Very smart from Mukova. Of a maybe a little safe from from right from the return, just kind of guided the ball back in, into play, and credit for Wong to to step up in that point. That is Carolina Mukova in vintage fashion. She really does a good job of keeping her focus when she's at the net on the on the one volley she's hitting. She's not concerned about where her opponent is. It's a great job of. A 
State with the shot selection. You don't often say that about Karolina Mukova. Wang Xinyu has made her move. Who wants it? Mm -hmm. to hit the swing volley off. <laughs> Couple of blistering backhands. <laughs> Where you feel like you have to force yourself because you know you have to be aggressive and to be able to take that shot right there, that's impressive from Mukova. Going off the walls right now. Done by Wong Shin Yu. Gutsy play from from both of them at some at some big moments. Rolls in a first serve at 78 miles per hour. Wang Xin Yu takes the second set from Karolina Mukova. Poor coverage from both. Some of these gets on the defense from Wong, impressive, just to try and reset the point. But Mukova, good disguise there. Still, Wong had plenty of time on that. Felt like she was choosing the right shot because Mukova was inside the baseline, but great reach on the volley. I just don't think she's executing it very well today. Look at Ruther en route.
shot. It can be scary. And you, a lot of these players, if they don't have the finances to back them, you do end up, especially at the beginning of your career, Bosch, what a shot from Wong Xin Yu. Does that, does that so well. Use that backhand angle, cross court, shorter part of the court. And then Sneaking in, just seeing Wong go for that slice. That's where the ball can keep rising and lifting. And it just ends up making into the net now 27 times has the check. Talking about the drop shot. And so it's Karolina Mukova. Three chances to do it. One goes. Masters today has been 112. It's a brilliant lob over the backhand side. Oh, Mukova did a great job throughout that entire game of just chipping those returns back and play that off pace, just forcing Wong to try and. Yeah, she's certainly been helped, hasn't she, by 12 unforced errors from her opponent in this set alone. At times it wasn't pretty, but Karolina Mukova and her mental strength gets over the line finally. She's into her first US Open quarterfinal. And she finished it off in style. It just, I agree with you, Kenny. Just the mental toughness was what got through there. And she, there were moments where she didn't feel super comfortable, but huge credit to her at the end of that third set. She just got really, really solid and forced Wong to give up a lot of those unforced errors.